What's Gucci and Gucci? It's your host of the most Nikki's MC. <laughs> you like my intro? I'm not using it forever, but yeah. So we're playing some more survival games. I'm I'm going solo today, Lone Wolf. Uh, you know, if I can. Whoa, that was actually a really, really nice chest, and I'm really happy about that. So if you guys hear, hear any difference in the mic quality, it might be because you know I went back to my Logitech G230 headset uh, mic instead of um the desktop mic I've been using and that's because I heard, I found out that there's a lot less white noise and background noise but the price to pay is that it's a little bit quieter so hopefully you guys don't notice that too much but if you do I'll make sure to boost the audio and just in case I'm gonna quickly turn down the Minecraft sounds too so if those are overpowering the mic uh, we wouldn't want that so yeah gonna go I just wanted to do that real quick now we're gonna go ahead and head up, head up to our route um, but today I'm gonna sh tell you guys about my story about how I became a, a hardcore gangster and a lot of people think that it's a joke but really guys I'm probably the most pimpin G you'll ever meet and I you know only that happens to G's like I don't even know what happened there um, but I'm pretty sure it's only for G's uh, I think the map like kinda glitched out when they recognized that I'm Inky's MC king of swag um, and then they're just like fanboying right there um, so that's why they were all glitchy but we're gonna just go ahead and head up to the tier 2 uh, because you know this was uh, this is a very good place to be especially if you're a hardcore G because you know you can just get uh, goods out the butt you know so I'm just gonna drop out some random stuff but um, I'll, I'll get on with the story in a second I just wanna uh, clean up my inventory here there you go I'll burn that when I have the time um and I flint seal um okay so basically it all started in 1983 when I was born oh god I did not realize I was that low I'm, j I'm not gonna take any chances just gonna eat that um so 1983 when I was born it was a it was a great year to be honest uh a lot of things happened, you know, uh, the first ever video game console was released, which was the Xbox 360, um, you know, it was a pretty big release, uh, now we're on the Xbox 720, which is crazy, um, but, yeah, so that happened, and then, I, I, on my fifth birthday, which was 1988, uh, I actually got myself a motorcycle because, you know, uh, my teachers in school, or my pre-K teacher, my preschool teacher, or my kindergarten teacher, sorry, uh, she believed that I was probably the smartest person that ever lived on the face of this earth. Uh, so she, I decided to go ahead and do something that not many uh, kindergartners do at at the age of five. Um, and that was to go ahead and get my very own motorcycle, which I have a Harley Davidson of some sort. I still have it today because I just fall hard. Um, you'll know, you'll see no one else like me in the world. Um, but yeah, so I was cruising along one day on my Harley Davidson um, with uh, Megan Fox on the back. Uh, that's my girl, my bae, and then. Um, we were heading over to Starbucks, you feel me? Because uh, we had just picked up some KFC and you need to drink some coffee with that KFC, you feel? You feel me, dog? Oh, God. My Jesus. <laughs> my God. Um, we, have, we have a little contender there, don't we? Um, so, yeah, we were just hanging out, eating some coffee and some... We are drinking some coffee and some, eating some chicken. Until, out of nowhere, Iron Man came down. And he was like... Yo, do you guys want some money? And I was like, sure. Even though I've made millions off my hit movie um, called The Life of Inky's MC. Um, so then what I decided to do was create a company called Marvel. And then I, I, I uh, what's his name? Robert Downey Jr. He approached me after re finding out that I've, I've made a comic book company, uh, you know, whatever. And he was like, "Hey, dude, I have a perfect, 
Um, I have a perfect idea for your company, uh, for for a movie. And I was like, yo, bro, what is it? And he was like, there has to be remember he came down in his Iron Man suit he was like I want well, let's, you should make a movie about a superhero named Iron Man and I'm like bro is that what you're called like is that what you're trying to do just be part of my movie and he was like yeah so we decided to make a movie and we made that and that was released 1991 a great great time uh, by this time I had 44,000 billion dollars um, <laughs> in profit I uh, yes, I've only spent ten dollars on that movie. It was actually made with my flip camera, so I don't know. But it was a really big hit, really big success, and so many people liked it. I just decided to make more movies, and now I'm I'm about to come out with uh, Aquaman, which is gonna be a great Marvel movie. You know, just a great uh, production. Um, probably the best superhero of all time. Um, no one's better than him like bro this guy's a G a straight up G so that should be coming out in mm, 2079 79 it's gonna be quite a big thing we're gonna need some crazy crazy awesome stunt guys cuz what we're gonna do is just it's gonna be such a good movie I can't I don't want to spoil it so you guys just hold on to your panties for that movie it's gonna be great um, wow, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but, you know, guys, I might have to give up the YouTube career. Just kidding. Uh, I'm never giving up this YouTube career. It got me to, uh, being the CEO of Marvel. So, yeah. And what I wanted to, and what I wanted to do, oh, crap, sorry. And so, 1991 is when Iron Man was released, and then in 1995, actually, I actually made a new company called Apple Enterprises now you guys might be thinking don't you mean Apple computers and I'm like and I'm and no I don't mean Apple computers I did not create Apple computers uh, I can understand the confusion because I'm just such a try uh, a, a G you know but I actually did not create Apple computers in fact that was my my best friend um, Steve Jobs so props to him um, on his accomplishment and wow I, I need to make a damn sir but I can't anymore so good luck to this guy um, but yeah that was pretty much it uh, for my story it was it was it was a pretty big su my I've been a I've been quite a success um, and sadly I did die but you know what it's all good and I hope you guys enjoyed my story it was all true and I'll see you guys